Hey there, thank you for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be creating a new Connect project. Believe it or not, I didn't think I was gonna make another one either, but if you haven't seen my first one, it would probably be an easier place to start than this one because in that video, we focused more on doing a game using the joints created by the Connect. And in that series, I go over basic the basics of how to put the Connect SDK into Unity as well as setting up the Connect Studio program. So in this project, we're gonna kind of like bypass a little bit of that and jump right into the project essentially. I'm gonna link that other video in the description if you need a bit more sort of step-by-step, -step, but I'm still gonna show you the page where you can sort of get everything in this video. And in this video, we're doing something a little bit more advanced where we're gonna be using some of the raw depth data that we get from the Connect to calibrate a surface such as a wall that we can then throw objects against where we can create areas that we can use for scoring points. And before I forget, I would just like to thank my patron Elvian for suggesting this project. I really didn't think that I was gonna make another Connect project, but they were really interested in creating more of a physical education type game. So that's that's how we got to where we are right now. So let's go ahead and let's pull up the page for some of the stuff that we're gonna to need to start this project. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is install the Connect for Windows SDK 2.0, which is going to install the Microsoft Studio for Connect, where it's gonna be able to show all of the data. And you'll, this is essentially the driver for it. And then if we scroll down here, you're gonna to need to download the Unity Pro packages. And then we'll need a couple of folders from that. And once you've downloaded the folder, you'll get something that looks like this. So if we click in here, we're gonna have a few packages as well as a couple of projects. The two things that we're really only gonna need is this Unity package here. So if we grab that and drag it into our project, and let go, it's gonna import. Let's minimize this and go ahead and hit import. Okay, now let's go ahead and pull that window right back up. And this is basically a whole project, this connect view, that gives you a bunch of examples of some of the information that the connect produces. So if we go in here in the scripts as an example, it has all of these different scripts for accessing the different data that the connect produces. But we don't need this entire project really, we just really need the scripts folder. So we can go ahead and drag that down into our project and hit, I made a backup, go ahead, which <laughs> clearly we didn't. All right, so let's go ahead and save our scene. So let's hit Control S and hit Main and let all this update. Let's go ahead and hit Clear. If you don't have uh, this clicked, it's gonna give you a few warnings here, here and now and then, but it's not that big of a deal. I just ignore them, I just have that button clicked. But um, I think what we're going to first be doing in this video is getting, getting the color and the depth streams from the Connect, and then showing them using Canvas. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our scripts folder and let's go ahead and create a subfolder here for all of these Connect scripts, because we're not really going to be changing any of these because these are primarily for just getting data. And we don't even necessarily need all of these, but for simplicity's sake, let's just have them all just in case. And then for the rest of the scripts, we'll just have them in the root scripts folder. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a canvas, and we're gonna be using this canvas to output the raw image, the raw color data from the connect. So if we just go to the 2D view here, let's, let's actually scroll out here. And if we go up here to our rect, and we hold alt and we hold control, we'll expand that to our entire canvas. And let's just go to our game really quick our game view that is, and make sure it's on 16 by nine. And since this is an empty scene, we're also gonna need a camera. So let's go ahead and create a camera as well. And we'll just tag that as main camera. We'll drag that to the top. We're not gonna need this event system either. So we can go ahead and delete that. And let's go ahead and name this. We're gonna name it PR underscore viewer. And then we're just gonna click, well actually before we do that, let's create a folder for our prefabs before we even create a prefab. And let's just click, click and drag that down and create a prefab for it. And then we're gonna create a new script. So in our scripts folder, we're gonna right click, create, C sharp, and we're gonna call this one, we'll call it image viewer. 
And now let's go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. All right, so here we are in our image viewer script. We're gonna go ahead and reformat this. And we're only gonna need our update function. And we're only gonna be creating it to a couple of variables. And the first thing that we're gonna need is a reference to an object we haven't put in our scene yet, which is gonna be the source of a lot of the data from the connect. And it's gonna be the multi source manager, which is gonna give us both the color data as well as the depth data. And I'll talk a little bit more about those two things as we're putting them both together. That's gonna to be a whole process, so don't worry about it too much right now. So we're gonna be calling that just multi-source. And we're gonna need another, we're actually going to need to put the Unity Engine UI namespace here so we can have access to the raw image type. So if we go public raw image, and then we'll just call this raw image. And the raw image is basically um, what we're gonna be using to output the color image that we're getting from the connect. So an update here, if we go ahead and we just write m raw image dot texture equals m multi source dot get color texture. And that's all we really need to do for that. It's pretty simple. And let's go ahead and go back into Unity. And now we just have this viewer. That's basically a canvas that we're gonna be using to show the image that we're getting from the connect. So let's go ahead and attach this script onto our viewer prefab and hit apply. And let's go ahead and let's make an object so we can put our multi view on it. So let's, if we go ahead and create empty, make sure it's not a child of our viewer. And let's just call that PR underscore multi view. Hit enter. And if we go to the connect folder, we're gonna see this multi-source manager. So if we click and drag that out, we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and make a prefab out of that as well. But let's go ahead and open this up to see what information we can get from it. So as you can see, we have a couple of public functions here where it says get color texture, that it's gonna return a color texture, it's a texture 2D. And then we also have this get depth data that it's gonna return an array of U shorts, which a U short is just a fancy int basically, but it can only be a positive number. And then if we scroll down here, there's some information here for getting the default connect, checking if there's a sensor, and an update function for creating the color texture as well as the depth information. So a lot of this stuff for creating all of this information as well as discarding it is really pretty much handled for us. So we can go ahead and exit out of this. And if we go back into Unity again, and let's see if this actually works. So if we go ahead and drag our multi view into our image viewer and our raw image into our raw image, if we hit save and apply. Let's see if this works. And as you can see, it's sort of upside down here. So watch, just so I can, I'll put my hand in front of it. Hello. Oh goodness. All right, so now that we have that, I think we're gonna to need to make a material just so we can flip this so it's right side up. So let's go ahead and make a new material in our materials folder. And let's create a material. We'll call this M underscore camera. And we can just make this a simple unlit texture. The big thing that we're gonna to need to do is for the tiling, instead of a one, we just need to make it a negative one. So if we go to our raw image, we can drop our new material onto there. We can actually disable it for being a raycast target as well while we're at it. Let's go ahead and hit apply, and then let's save it and let's hit play again. And then we'll give it a second, and there we go. So now we've flipped our image essentially. This will sort of affect one or two things as we're developing our project, but for right now, this is completely okay. So I think we're gonna just set up a script for our next video and we'll write a bit of the code just to set it all up. So let's go ahead and make a new script. We'll minimize that. And we're just gonna go ahead and create a new script that we're just gonna call measure depth. And this is where we're gonna be writing a lot of our code in. And let's just go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and reload. 
All right, so we're just going to create a bunch of stuff so we don't have to do it in the next video. And we're also going to need a multi source manager like we did in our image viewer. So let's make a public multi source manager. And we'll just call that M multi source. And let's make an awake function. And then we're going to need to create a few more connect related things. So we're going to be making a private variable called connect sensor. I think we're actually, before we do that, we're going to need to add something to our namespace, which I think it's Unity Windows Connect. There we go. And hopefully that gives us access to the connect sensor type, which it does. And we'll just call this sensor, initialize that to null. And we'll be also using a coordinate mapper, which we'll call M mapper. I'll explain what that is in just a second. And then we're going to need a camera. Well, we're not going to need the camera in this video, so let's wait. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. So as you could probably imagine, the sensor is going to have a reference to our actual connect sensor that we're going to be using. And the mapper is basically a way that we're going to need to map our depth data onto our color points. Because not only do each of the different cameras on the connect create different size images, there's also an offset between the cameras because if you look at your connect, it's long horizontally. So each of those cameras are next to each other. They're not stacked on top of one another or in sort of a line. So we have to sort of compensate for that offset using a coordinate mapper. So let's go ahead and let's set our sensor. And we can do, you do that by doing connect sensor dot get default. And then we'll need to set up our coordinate mapper m sensor and there we go and for the next video we're also going to be creating a texture for to show the depth so let's go ahead and create a few lists that we're going to be using for that so we're going to need a couple of arrays that we're going to be using to store some of the what are known as camera space points as well as color space points so if we go ahead and make a private camera space point we'll just call that camera space points we will initialize that to null and then we'll be making another array that we're going to be calling or using the type color space points call it m color space points we'll initialize that to null and then we're going to go ahead so we can initialize those in our awake we're going to need to know how much data that we're necessarily going to need for them. So one way that I did this is that the depth sensor creates an image that is 512 by 424. So what we can do is we can create a private read only, a vector to int, and we'll just call this depth resolution. And we'll initialize that to a new vector to int, like I said, 512 by 424. And then, so now that we have our connect stuff, let's go ahead and initialize both of those arrays. So we, what we can do here is we can make a new integer, call it array size, and we'll basically create how many points of data that we're gonna need by multiplying our 512s by our 424. So all we're gonna do is do m depth resolution dot x, multiply that by our m depth resolution dot y. All right, and I forgot to put this int there. There we go, cool. And then for our camera space points, it's gonna be a new camera space point array size. And we'll be doing the same for our color space points. Now I know I haven't talked too much about what the camera space points as well as what the color space points are, but when we are using our coordinate mapper, for each of these pieces of data and laying them on top of each other, essentially, you're gonna see that more in the next video once we actually create the texture. Because once we have a visual aid, it just sort of make a little bit more sense. So I think this is about all we're gonna be doing for this video. So hopefully we can jump into the next one and actually create that texture that we're gonna be overlaying on top of the color image created by the Connect. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, or as we're creating this project, by the end of it, if you would like to see one or two extra mechanics, 
you can leave a comment about that as well. So hopefully I'll see you next time.